What's good? It's your boy JC. And if you're gonna stay on YouTube right now on a consistent basis, you need to be watching consistent basis. And you getting that from one of the most consistent people in the game, baby. Consistent basis coming at you on YouTube. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Justin Harris. Welcome to another episode of Consistent Basis. Today we're gonna to be talking about Choke Volume 1, aka Smack Volume 1. I just went down Saturday and I'm just going to give you my thoughts and opinions on it. If you haven't seen my prediction video, go ahead and check it out whenever you can. But uh, don't check it out now. But wait till you, after you watch this video, then go check my if you want to. Um, first battle I want to talk about, JC and Twerk. On my prediction, I had JC clearly win this battle. 2-1-3-0, camera what I said. But uh, god damn it, it was the other way around. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, other way around, I'm choking my damn self. One stumble. Other way around. Um, twerk, I really believe he proved all of his haters wrong, including me. Even though I wasn't a hater, I, was, I proved all his doubters wrong. This dude, arguably 3 0 JC. Now, you can give him, if you guys seen it, you can probably give JC the first round. But it's something with that hoodie, man, that made niggas stumble and choke. I don't think I ever seen JC besides the Arsenal battle, but he had reasons to, whatever. Um, now, 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 this is, okay, so I'm, it's, it's hard to explain because JC, I believe if JC wouldn't have stumbled the second and the third round, he almost choked the third round. He would have won this battle. JC, his pen is on another fucking level. I don't think he, the next battle JC should have should be Lux. I don't care what anybody says he's not ready. No, he has that Lux aura. He has all of that. Okay, even though I got him losing the twerk, it was still an okay. It he did just enough to. I think he did just enough, just just enough to get looks. I don't see anybody else besides maybe Verb that deserves looks more than JC. Okay, so um, but yeah, Twerk he showed the fuck up and he showed the fuck out, and I had him winning every round. So my bad, Twerk. I I apologize. I shit fuck. Um, but yeah, Twerk three zero. All right, Mike P and Shotgun shit. Man, Mike P got his ass whooped. I'm not even want to sugarcoat it. Um, I had Mike P on my prediction. I had Mike P winning this one 2-1. Uh, one thing about Shug, man, as soon as you start to underestimate him, he comes through, man. And Shug, I don't know, man. Shug beat the shit out of uh, Mike P. I don't see I, giving Mike P any rounds to be completely honest with you. I don't know what round. What round would you give him? I don't know. Maybe this. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. But uh, I had Mike P winning this one, and in my opinion, should should won, man. Now, what are we doing with Mike P now? What? Who? Who, is, who do you guys think Mike P should face next? Do you think he should get the chiller treatment, sit down for two years, uh, or just sit out uh, from URL, go balance some different leagues to build himself back up? Because I don't see him winning. All about I see him win was actually the, the twerk battle, but um, you can you can argue and say he lost that too. But I got um, Shug beating him. Uh, K Shine versus Danny Myers. My prediction: I, I had Danny winning two one, uh, and in my opinion, I think he beat Shine once again. Shine was all hell of emotional. I think that was like the second round. Danny, you know how Danny, you know how Danny is, man. All animated and jumping around. He probably bumped K Shine. You know, K Shine, you know, the strongest, this the strongest five seven nigga the uh, you ever meet. The, the aggression, he just I don't know, man. But I got Shine winning the second round. But I got Danny taking it two one. Um, I still don't like. I want that old shine back, man. If the old shine would have showed up, I think he would have clearly won this battle. But uh, I got Danny. I got Danny winning this battle 2-1. Uh, 
um, was not a very this battle. It wasn't the best, Danny. I don't think this battle had replay value. Um, I didn't think Shine just Shine did just enough to get through with the battle. I don't see anything special about this battle. But um, I got Danny winning two one. Chess versus <sighs> Chef Trez. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. It was a massacre from the start. Um, on my prediction, I had Chef Trez winning this one 2 1, possibly 3 0. Nobody. I, I got so much faith in Chess, man. I think Chess is. I had so much faith in Chess. Um, he was one of my favorite up and comers, dude. This dude was this dude was nice. He he he, he still it, but um he, he he didn't come through this battle, man. And um I would not be surprised if this battle got vaulted. Like for real. Danny put up a post saying that it should be released or whatever, but um It really it brought the event down, you know. It brought the event down. Um, but um, it just wasn't a good battle, man. It was a great battle on Chef Trez's part, even though he fucked up one of them three things. But it really didn't matter, man. Chef Trez three up, man. Body. It was a body. Um, I don't even think Chess got one bar out of the third round. He choked the second. I think he stumped the first on. Um, I want to say he stumped the first, choked the second, and completely choked out the third man. And um, but dude's young. He's young, and I I, I, I want to say he did have something personal going on in his real actual life. Um, besides the struggle bars, whatever. But um, yeah, man. Uh, Shell Trades, man. Goddamn. Um. Uh, Good, 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 good um, battle. Good battle. I don't think this battle is better than the prep uh, Chez battle, but good part on good, good battle on um, Shell Trey's part, man. Trey's 3-0, man. Let's go to Old Red and Briggs. Now this is uh, ooh. Now I had Briggs. I'm, I'm not. I, I wasn't on Old Red, but I got Briggs. I had. I had on my prediction. I had Briggs winning 2-1, but um. I can't lie, man. Uh, I think Old Red did just enough to get the battle, but I don't think this battle is gonna hurt Briz. It's not. I think they're just gonna get some big names, bigger names. But um, it was a good showing on both parts. I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was a good showing on both parts. Uh, but I got Old Red winning two one. Um, not much more to say. If you know, I haven't went over any of the bars in this uh, prediction. I don't think everyone do bars and in, in predict and night prediction in recap videos because um, it really takes away the you know the what the fuck you know it takes away from the actual battle when it drops. So I'm not gonna do any bars or whatever. And I can't remember all the bars anyway. But I got O Red winning um, two one. B motherfucking Magic versus Al. If you go look at my prediction video, I was right on the money. I said B Magic was gonna go first, and I said he was gonna win the first. You could arguably say that he did win the, win the first. He didn't choke. I did. I said he was gonna choke the second round, and guess what? He chose the second round. He chose the second round. He chose the third round. I got Av winning this battle clearly. 2-1, possibly 3-0. Uh, it was not worse as chest choke, but I don't know, man. I think it's over for Magic, man. I think that it's... That's it. He needs to just sit out. Ret retire. Just retire, man. And, um... Or just get together, man. I don't know. Just do something, brother, because, um... After a round, bro, like, you, like... B Magic has been getting slaughtered all this year. Let's be complete. And, the, and some of the slaughter rich, the footage hasn't even dropped yet. We don't know what happened between him and K Shine, him and, and um, Cortez. So, um, I think it's over, man. Al's third round was like, fuck. Al's third round was like, Magic was already in the grave, and his third round was just shoveling the dirt, 
on the grave on his casket. Cause um, Av third round, y'all hear it, man. It might be one of Av's best third rounds ever. One of Av, one of Av's Av's best rounds ever. To be completely honest with you, he saw the shit out of me, man. It wasn't even close. Last battle I want to talk about: the battle of the night, Iron Solomon against Rum Nitty. That's right, I said it. I said it. Battle of the night, man. Iron Solomon showed y'all why he's a veteran, why he's an OG, and I got him winning, man. I got Iron Solomon winning 2-1. But Nitty did his damn thing. It's basically a generation gap. I mean, all the older heads will clearly have Iron Solomon winning. But the younger people, like, you know, like Jazz, she said she had Iron, uh, Rum Nitty winning or whatever. But um, I think the younger cats are going to have Rum Nitty beating Iron Solomon. But this is this is battle of the, this, this has potentially be battle of the year. Um, but just good show from Iron Solomon, man. Um and Rum Nitty punch wise, god damn, he was punching his motherfucking ass off. But I got Iron Solomon winning the second and the third round, man. And it just it was it was a good event uh, despite all the choking or whatever. I can't wait to see Smack Volume 2. And um it's gonna be fucking dope. But um those are my recaps, man. If you guys do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? I don't know. Hit me up in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and um, follow us on Instagram, on Snapchat. Uh, and let me know who let me know who you guys want to see on Smack Volume 2. I'm willing to debate against any nigga or anybody who wants to talk about battle rap, man. Hit me up. Peace.